I'll show you how to uh, create a formula field to get the base URL. That means um, the URL of uh, your org. This is a base URL. Um, I'm, I'm in the account um, object. Go to uh, object manager account. Click new formula. Uh, base URL is a text. Um, you need to um, go to advanced here. Um, click insert field here. You have to go to API. You, you can see en enterprise server URLs here. Enterprise is across the enterprise. Uh, there are different API versions here. Uh, you have, if you go down the list, you have API session ID, you have partner. I use partner uh, server URL. Right now I am on the uh, 57 API version, insert. Um, so this is how you get the um, uh, URL. Uh, 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 you have to, you get a full URL. You have to truncate it. For example, I'll show you what I get here. Uh, I'm going to save it right so it is added to the layout of the account right go to details here so should be here so I'm going to add the base URL to layout I in that earlier let's go there here it's already there here i don't have to add it it is right below the uh, url right now uh, let's see I need to refresh it. Go to details here. This is the you can see. Uh, this is the base URL. You get services of U5. You know the. Uh, you get the everything with the the whole URL base URL plus URIs like. Uh, API so you you can if you want to get this like uh, above URL that this is a base URL but you have to uh, remove the forward slash services so I have a um, uh, I have example uh, after I truncated the leftovers URIs um, go to field and relationship URL I created earlier should to show you. So you have you get the left side of this and after forward slash services so it it displays the um, base URL here. So this is how you use that. Uh, if you want to get the community URL, you uh, remove everything from here. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want up to this uh, cunning, uh, the, let, let's go to the bar here up to this. So this is the org. 
cost. Uh, so what, what you have to do is uh, you have to remove everything. Uh, uh, like a dot my.salesforce.com the way you do is um, you go to uh, dot my dot sales dot com Now syntax error, I save it. Let me see how I get it here. So you got here, this is the, uh, you got dot as well. Here you can remove it by doing that. So this fine um, provides you the location. So I want to go one character to the left to, to remove the dot here. This is the host. You need, um, it is a sandbox and dot sandbox is a production. It is a, um, you get here uh, like only the one Host here. Okay, here you go. Here you got it. Um, if you want to uh, make this the community URL, you have the base, right? Uh, so you edit it. plus my dot site dot com once you have the the first part of the URL which is a host you can do string manipulation to get the URLs for site or um, any uh, community or any uh, uh, site here so I'm going to save it let's see what I get here go to details here I got site.com made a If you want the um, community site, you have to enter site.com. So I adjust it here. Uh, I, uh, you can see this is how you get the um, community site. I have registered a domain here. So um, let's go back. This is the, uh, let's refresh it. Let's go to details here. You can see the URL is trailblaze.my.site.com. If you go to enhance your um, Salesforce site, you can construct, once you have the my domain name, um, um, uh, also um, the whole thing the, um, like for sandbox, and then you can construct the file.salesforce.com, my.site.com. This is the experience site. Um, um, so this is the login lighting site here over here uh, so when I click here it goes to the uh, my I just registered a domain here uh, you can see here you 
God's here.